you're like me at all, and you've been using NADN, you're building automations, you've probably gotten to a point where you're like, man, if only I could like edit video and audio right within NADN. Well, the truth is you can if you're using a self-hosted version of it. You're not able to do this on the cloud version. And in fact, this is the reason why I've recently switched over from the cloud to self-hosting, and I'm using Hostinger. It's because of this free software here called FFmpeg. And so I'm not particularly techie. I want to try to figure out how to, to do this. So I went and looked for a help article. And I see this help article from, you know, Hostinger. It came out not that long ago. And so I went through it. And it, it talks about, you know, you have your VPS, your virtual server, and you need to install FFmpeg on it in order to be able to get um, your commands to work within NADN to be able to actually use this piece of software. Now, um, I actually had recorded a whole little tutorial of going through and installing on Linux because, you know, most likely you're using Ubuntu if you're using Hostinger. And, you know, here's your, your uh, dashboard and you got to click on browser and you got to go in. And I'll tell you, um, I did all that. I installed it onto my VPS. And then I just spent the past five hours trying to get this thing to work. And I actually found out it doesn't. There's actually a different way that you have to do it if you're using um, Docker on your virtual server in order to be able to use NADN, which most of you are most likely are. Now I use Coolify in order to be able to be my dashboard through Hostinger, so that way I'm able to access all the stuff on my, my VPS. And normally I'd set up my Docker and I would just run it and everything would be hunky-dory and then I'm like, okay, well I'll just call to the, the virtual server. You can't. Because it's in Docker, you have to install it in the Docker instance in order to be able to get it to run with NADN available. So I'm going to show you exactly what to do because you don't need to spend the hours and hours and headache and all the trouble of trying to figure this out. So when you are going to go launch your, your Docker instance, okay? Now, like I said, I'm using Coolify, but basically any anytime you're using Hostinger and you're going to be doing NADN, you just open up your compose file. You have to find it. I don't know where yours is going to be, but you find your compose file. Uh, make sure you have all your credentials set up and all of that. But when we come down here, you want to have an extra variable called root. You want this entry point that allows commands here. So, you know, we have a bracket, quotation mark, slash bin, slash sh, quotation mark, comma, space, quotation mark, dash c, quote, end brace. All right. And then command. So here we have apk, space, add, space, dash, dash, no, dash, cache, fmpeg. You, you can copy this all from here. Um, and then also I made sure that I had my, uh, my timers set a little bit higher. Um, what I was finding was when I was starting up my, my Docker instance, and it has to install FFmpeg into the instance in order to be able to be used, my timers were set too low. And because they were set too low, and I think the, the interval was like 10 seconds, it was checking. Um, it wasn't enough time for it to install everything. And so it kept crashing. So, um, you know, consider upping your intervals and your timeout timers. And then once your Docker, Docker's all set up, then you're going to be able to do it. So I was actually just able to do it. I had a file in a Google Drive, um, this video file here, and um, I uploaded it. Well, I downloaded it to NADN. I had to write it to my VPS using this write, read, write files from disk node. I can then access it using a command node, and uh, it would be this command here. So sh space dash c, and then ffmpeg. Um, I have this y here because um, I was testing it, and I found out that I was uh, trying to create a file that was already created, so it was asking me to overwrite it. But because this is an automated process, there was no pop-up. So that y is there to just say, yes, go ahead and overwrite it, um, dash i, and then the name of the file. And I got some extra stuff in here to be able to make a uh, mp3 file. Basically, I'm using ffmpeg. And it output the, the file. It um, then went ahead and uh, read it. I'm not sure why I had to do that, but Claude told me to do this um, in order to be able to turn it back into a binary file. And then I was able to upload it back into Google Drive. And so I was able to get ffmpeg to work, not by following the instructions uh, that you might be finding online. So please, if you're struggling like I was, watch this video because this was such a pain trying to figure this one out. Um, yes, you couldn't, you can install it on your local host if you're doing that. If you're doing this on your own computer, this might be the right process for you. But if you're using a VPS like I was, 
and you're using Docker, you have to install FFmpeg into the Docker instance when it starts up, otherwise none of this works. So again, just go back through, look at my Docker Compose file here, see how I have it all set up, um, specifically the user, the entry point, and the command, and then as well as our uh, timeout intervals. That's what it was, that's how it, I was able to get this to work. You know, hopefully this helps you because um, now that I'm able to do this, like I've been struggling for a long time to be brave enough to do this tech part, I'm now able to do really cool stuff with my video and audio content, and I'm really looking forward to this, so hopefully you are too. And if you think this is gonna be helpful for you, make sure to subscribe to the channel, like and share the video, it really does help. Looking to take your AI development further with more tutorials and free N8N workflows? Simply click the link in the description below to go to our free school community where you can find many more AI and N8N tutorials as well as all of our starter workflows that will allow you to start building AI tools directly into your business. And if you're serious about building AI automation tools into your business using N8N, be sure to check out our advanced community where we give new tools each week that will actually make a difference in your business. This is where we keep all of our exclusive tools and resources for committed business owners looking to ride this AI wave. In addition, you'll get direct access to me to help you through your setup and tech issues, our business building course library, and so much more. And as always, I'm Bradford Carlton. Let's automate your success together.